great bluff. So it's a pretty fantastic place to bluff polarized. Either you missed your draw or you have the nuts and you should be indifferent to whether you're bluffing or not if your bluffing percentage is correct. So since you're betting pot, then that means um, one out of three times you should be bluffing. So the action went like this. I got five, six heart, no, six, seven of heart, and I'm both, I both have a value hand I mean, a, a bluff catcher hand, and uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So if I had 6, 8, I got there. I don't know if he had a queen or not. That's hard to tell. I should I should really come back and look at this and see if he's got a heart or not. So I need to make a note to come back and see this hand. See if he's got a heart. I mean he's got a queen or not. Because if he has a queen and I, I, and I blew him off, that means my straight scare card really scared him. So what kind of straight could I have? Six, seven, eight. So six, eight. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'd have to have 6, 8. But I don't know if he had a queen. It, the, the way it looks, it, it's possible that he doesn't have a queen. So I don't know how great this bluff was. I don't know if he's thinking that I had 6, 8. But... Even if he had a queen, it's, it's, I think it's right to fold there because I'm betting strong enough. I could have a set, I could have two pair. I could have gotten there with a flush. So it's, it's vulnerable to... It's very vulnerable, his queen. This queen is very vulnerable. And then in this hand I get lucky, but I, I had a bluff catcher and the timing of that ace scare card was just too perfect for him to bet out. I mean that's a bluff I'd run and that turn ace right here, he bets and luckily I get a 7. I was hoping he had an ace. That's why I bet that strong with three sevens. Otherwise, I was just gonna bet. Have, no, I wasn't gonna bet because I had both a bluff catcher on the turn, which was why I called his two dollar and forty five cent bet, and I also had a value hand. I was hoping then maybe he had an ace at this point. Otherwise, I was not gonna bet. The river if I didn't have a 7 but once the 7 came I was hoping that he had an ace and had an inelastic um, range which he still did he either had air which he was going to fold to a half bet or he had an ace which he was not going to fold to a full pot so a couple of cool hands Seven eight, get a buff, bluff catcher. Ace comes as a scare card. He tries to scare me. Now I bet for value instead of half pot. No, instead of not betting, I would have called a half sized, half half pot sized bets if I if the river was a brick. But once the river gave me trips, I was betting for value. Now.
and his range was inelastic. He either had it or he didn't. If he didn't have it, nothing you could have bet he would have called. If he didn't, if he, if he did have an ace, he would call a full pot size bet. So cool.